Good morning. We're reading again from the Tao Te Ching. We're on chapter 31, Fine Weapons. Fine weapons are implements of ill omen. People may despise them, so those with the way do not dwell on them. Therefore, the place of honor for the cultured is on the left, while the honored place for the martialist is on the right. Weapons being instruments of ill omen are not the tools of the cultured, who use them only when unavoidable. They consider it best to be aloof. They win without beautifying it. Those who beautify it enjoy killing people. Those who enjoy killing people cannot get their will in the world. The left is favored for auspicious things, the right for things of ill omen. So the subordinate general is on the left, the top general is on the right. That means when you are in ascendancy of power, you handle it as you would a mourning. When you have killed many people, you weep for them in sorrow. When you win a war, you celebrate by mourning. <clears throat> So this is a classic Tao Te Ching. It looks like it's fairly straightforward. Let me know if there's anything that's not straightforward. Uh, some things to notice uh, in the ancient, uh, among the ancient Taoists, like the Toltec, the uh, left is the uh, place of honor, the place for the cultured, and the place for the lower general, not the upper general, uh, who is considered in a much more precarious and undesirable position. <clears throat> so that's a tip, that's a reversal of the typical right left. Uh, uh, <clears throat> that's often considered to be a, a an archetype uh, or a uh, a universal culturally, and it, it's not obviously. Okay, so now we go to number thirty two. The way is eternally nameless. The way is eternally nameless. Though simplicity is small, the world cannot subordinate it. If lords and monarchs, monarchs can keep to it, all beings will naturally resort to them. Heaven and earth combine, thus showering sweet dew. No human can command it, it is even by nature. Start fashioning and there are names. Once names also exist, you should know when to stop. By knowing when to stop, you are not endangered. The way is to the world as rivers and oceans to valley streams. Let's read this one again. This one is appears sim simple, but it's not. <clears throat> the way is eternally nameless. Though simplicity is small, the world cannot subordinate it. <clears throat> if lords and monarchs can keep to it, all beings will naturally resort to them. Heaven and earth combine, thus showering sweet dew. No humans command it, it is even by nature. Start fashioning and there are names. Once names also exist, you should know when to stop. By knowing when to stop, you are not endangered. The way is to the world as rivers and oceans to valley streams. So, <clears throat> going through this, the way is eternally nameless. That's clear. Though simplicity is small, the world cannot subordinate it. It's a, it's, it seems, I mean, it may be simple, it may be extraordinarily simple, but the world cannot domineer it. 
and then it points out that if lords and monarchs moving from the from uh, the descriptive to the to the cultural if lords and monarchs can keep to it all beings will naturally resort to them heaven and earth combine the showering sweet dew so this could be dew or rain or uh, any number of things but heaven and earth combine to create this this dew no human no humans command it it is even by nature so the humans can't oh boy i'm reading about them seeding clouds uh, what could go wrong no humans command it it is even by nature start fashioning <clears throat> and there are names once names also exist you should know when to stop you should once you start getting into this name uh creating conceptual divisions and, and dividing things up with with constructs and concepts and, and mental complexity you should know when to stop that also and revert to the to the simple <clears throat> by knowing when to stop you are not endangered so if we get too fancy with all our concepts and constructs and, and uh, you know academic and and cultured um, complications it gets dangerous because we're so far removed from reality and then here's this beautiful line the way is to the world as rivers and oceans to valley streams that's a, a, a beautiful one for contemplation I'll just leave it right there because for that reason the way is to the world as rivers and oceans to valley streams valley streams flow into rivers and oceans So then let's move to 33. And now we go from uh, some political, some martial, uh, you know, military uh, uh, contemplations to, to uh, it looks like individual Dharma recommendations. Those who know others. Those who know others are wise. Those who know themselves are enlightened. Those who overcome others are powerful. Those who overcome themselves are strong. Those who are contented are rich. Those who act strongly have will. Those who do not lose their place endure. Those who die without perishing live long. And so uh, to die without perishing is to uh, it's to die before you die. It's analogous to the Christian being born again, analogous to that. It's uh, waking up. It's uh, all of those things to die without perishing. <clears throat> okay, thank you for listening. If you have questions, comments, or want to encourage the channel, please... Uh, leave a like or, or subscribe. Thank you for listening. <clears throat>